episode 24. Let's go. And here we have the first coin of this video. Copper coin. Check it out at home. And it turns out to be a nice copper coin of the Dutch province of Zeeland. This is my first decent find in weeks. Next up, a tiny compass. I can uh, read uh, north, south on it. Ah, never found one like this before. The needle is made of iron, of course. It's a bit rusty inside. I'll leave it like it is. And here we have the first medieval find of this video. Some sort of belt fitting, late medieval. It's nicely decorated with a star. It's probably 13th or 14th century. And if you find these, you know you're walking in the right spot. You can also find medieval coins here. And here's a nice find. A silver open thimble. It's complete. Can I clean it for at home? I really like this one. It's complete, it isn't bent or damaged or anything like that. And it weighs a lot, it weighs over 10 grams. So it must have cost a fortune back in the days. Here's a tiny find. It's late medieval, belt fitting, 13th, 14th century. Like I said before, these type of finds show us that we're walking in the right spot. A lot of pottery on this field. And not that many signals. Okay, it's out. And it's, ah, it's a brooch, a star disc brooch. That's a fun find. I really like these type of brooches. Unfortunately, the glass pearl in the center is missing. Just found this half brooch. It's a Roman one. Too bad this one is broken. This is a type that we don't see here very often. Some sort of belt fitting. 13th, 14th century. Sometimes there's a lion on the front or an eagle. Gotta check it out at home. Unfortunately, there's not much to see on this one. Just found this copper coin. Looks like it's uh, double struck. Prisia. It isn't a pretty coin, but a double strike makes him special. You don't see that very often. Okay, I've switched to the grass. And my first find is a coin weight. Looks like the quality is very good. Let's check it out at home. This coin weight was used on a scale to see if the coin had the proper weight. It was used for this gold coin. I wish that I found the coin instead of the weight. Okay, the next find on the grass is a thimble. 1920th century, probably. Okay, the finds on the grass weren't that spectacular, so it's time for another field. And on a new field, I started with a beautiful silver coin. There's a real nice one, uh, silver dime, from King uh, Willem I. In about 10 years of metal detecting, this is only the second dime of King Willem I that I find. 
and um, I'm on a special occasion now. The top layer has been removed. So, otherwise I wouldn't have uh, found this coin. Next up, a nice buckle. I have to watch my steps here, <laughs> otherwise I get run over by this machine. Now this is what I was hoping to find here. Silver Roman coin. Oh, this looks like a nice one. I'm gonna clean it further at home. The coin is even better than I thought. The portrait has a lot of detail on it. Only on the reverse side, it is a hard to remove piece of iron. Two good looking silver coins on one hunting trip. That doesn't happen every day. Okay, that's the end of this month's video. Hope you liked it. I liked it. I found some nice things. Open silver thimble, a very nice silver dime. And of course, a silver Roman coin. One of my best. Um, I also have a giveaway this month. You can win one of these 20 cut half medieval coins. So I'm gonna give 10 away to new subscribers and 10 away to some old familiars. All you have to do is put down in the comments below why you want one of these coins. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next month.